What is going on guys, Digital Next, and today we're here with the Genshin Impact My Story Animated. You love Genshin Impact? I think we all do. Granted, I'm playing Honkai Star Rail, but that's not the point. The point is, let's just look at this animated story. Growing up, I had the picture-perfect family, two loving parents, and my baby sister, April. We were always together, up to all sorts of crazy stuff. We were the queens of pranking. Really? You were the queens? Your kids, how good can you be? Doorbell Ditch is not even that crazy of a prank. I used to do that. Did you, you, you were able to run away that fast? Yes, I was able to get away. You know, you wanna hear the biggest prank I ever did? We made a homemade smoke BOMB, because I don't want, you know, YouTube to go crazy. We made a homemade smoke signal at the park and we made too much of it and we set it off and the entire park was covered in smoke. I'm not gonna tell you how to make it. We just, we just knew how. Granted, the fire department and police were called. So we got out of there. I don't think my dad knows about that one. For a dull moment when we were playing The Floor is Lava. Ah, oh, I'm gone, Giggles. Hold on, Jelly Bean. Whoops, oh, now we're both covered in lava. I felt like the luckiest kid alive until I noticed my parents arguing often. Whenever they'd fight, I'd try to distract April so we wouldn't have to think about... Don't look at mommy hitting daddy, April! <laughs> look at me instead! <laughs> Don't look over there! Don't pay attention to the stuff breaking! <laughs> One day, when April and I saw Mom with my math teacher, I knew it was the beginning of the end. Don't tell Dad about it, okay? But April blew the whistle on Mom. Why would you- I- I'm sorry, Alice. I was so furious. Why would you say anything stupid? Now we're gonna fail! Why do you think I was getting such good grades in math? You think as I know it? No. You are done goofed. Now our parents are getting a divorce because I want you to let that sink in, all right? Let that be your villain origin story arc. A few months later, my parents split. April chose to stay with dad, and I started fresh with mom in a new city. Hey, let me help you with that. My name's Sandra. You're Alice? Just moved in with your mom nearby, didn't you? How do you know all my information? Who's going around telling you this stuff? What you trying to get to right now? What you, what you trying to start? I don't know anything about you. We spent the rest of the day together, and I knew right then, she was my new best friend. And on my 15th birthday, she even made me a handmade birthday card. Happy birthday, sister. What's wrong? Oh, I forgot I had a sister. <laughs> oh yeah, she went to go live with my dad, whoops. Happy birthday, sis. Mm. I'm your sister now. Uh, oh how about BFFs? BFFs it is. But I still missed April so badly and kept sending her messages, but it seems like she had blocked my number. To keep me busy, she suggested we play online games together. Yeah, your sister hurt you, or your sister was a little kid, and she just said, you know, what what she saw. You can't blame her for that. Look at my hair. Why's my hair like this? Bad hair day. Anyway, you can't blame your sister. If you want to blame someone, blame your mom for not being sneaky enough. Why is she going after someone in your school? That's so dumb. There's this new game, Genshin Impact. It's like the coolest role-playing game ever. It'll have you on the edge of your seat. Plus, the graphics are out of this world. It's like you're playing- Okay. <laughs> think this was an ad. <laughs> okay, calm down. All right, before I get bamboozled by an ad for a game. Listen, you want to know my opinion on Genshin? Genshin would be an amazing game if it wasn't a gacha game. If you don't know what a gacha game is, basically it's a game that makes you spend money in order to have all the nice fun things in the game. But people are gonna be like, Digital, you could get that stuff for free. You don't have to pay to roll. Okay, listen, a cool character comes out. Everyone wants them, right? You're like, oh my God, I want that character, but I have no money. What do I do? You go to the free to play route. You're like, oh, free to play? That sounds good. Not only do I get to play the game, but I also get, you know, chances to roll. But wait, that's not even the worst part. When I say free to play, I mean you're going to have to be spending every single hour of every single day in order to, you know, to be able to roll. Whereas if you have money, you can just go ahead and be like, oh, you know, here's here's a casual 150 bucks because, you know, if I don't win that 50-50, that's how much it's going to cost me. That's right, everyone. It costs around $150 to uh to usually get a character if you don't win your 50-50s. Just, is, doesn't that seem a little ridiculous? Not only that, you have to roll to get their weapon. That's right, you can't even earn their weapon in game. Granted, you can, you can get a pretty decent weapon for them by playing the game, but 
But if you want the best, if you want their weapon, the best of the best, you gotta pay. Okay, enough about, let's just keep going. Life was going great. New town, BFF, and totally nailing my studies. But then, out of nowhere, mom ah. dropped a bomb. Dad was getting married, and we had to attend. I was excited, but also a bit nervous to be seeing April again after years, so I asked Sandra to come with me. You have to attend? Why do you have to attend? I left my wife. I'm marrying my new wife. You know what? I'm going to make my old wife. It is mandatory that she comes. It is, she can't. She can't miss it. She has to come see me marry a new woman. It's mandatory. So we landed in Chicago. It turned out Dad had rented a whole hotel for the guests. Oh, I'm sorry. But watch where... Why don't you watch it? Alice, this ain't Wonderland where you keep bumping into people and act all cute. But you still seem to be stuck up with... Watch it. Is this the sister who ruined your picture-perfect face? Yeah, this is the stupid one. <laughs> this is the tattletale right here, the one booing me right now. <sighs> I tried talking to April the entire evening, but she ignored me, and Sandra was just everywhere. Later that night, I knocked on April's door and hugged her tight. Excuse me, back off. Don't pretend like everything's okay. Accept my love, all right? It don't come easy. Just accept it. I'm in the middle of playing Genshin Impact, so please, just get out and don't try and talk to me. I told you not to. Cut it out, Sandra. She's my sister. I need to sort things out. Please, stay out of it. The next day, I realized how I had yelled at Sandra for no reason. I had realized I had yelled at Sandra because she was being very weirdly possessive of me. And you know, I say there's no reason, but there's a reason, you know? She's... Being a little weirdly possessive. It's okay, whatever, I guess. I don't know. But do you see? Do you see what happens when you're free to play? Why do you think that? Why do you think her sister is so mean? It's because she's free to play on Genshin Impact. She's mad that she has to sit there for hours every day so that way she can get roles for the next banner. I'm so pressed about Genshin, all right? I, I love Genshin. I used to play that thing all the time. Let me pay $20 for the character. Okay, cool, I got the character. He has a weapon? Let me pay another $10 for it. I don't, you, you are, you are getting a couple hundred dollars out of me just so I can get this character and a weapon. You want me to see six a character? $5 for every tier. You still get money. You still get money. Granny, you're not getting a, <laughs> Oh man, crazy. Totally deserved it. I wanted to fix everything, but how? Oh, wait, I'm in the middle of my awesome game. Maybe if April noticed me playing it, she'd talk to me? I instantly downloaded the game, but little did I know that by playing Genshin Impact, my life was gonna take a magical turn and nothing- Okay, listen, listen. If you want a real MMO to play, play Final Fantasy XIV. I love Final Fantasy XIV. That's the MMO I play. Genshin Impact ain't really an MMO, all right? I think it's more of a... It's not an MMO. Since I had never played video games before, I knew I had to learn how to play. I had to give it my all if I wanted to bond with April again, so I ran- Don't worry, you don't have to give it that much. It, it, the game literally plays itself. Just the funny numbers, you know? I want to be a gamer. Now, why the sudden interest in gaming? I want to I wanna get into gaming because you love it so much. It's easy. Sandra was kind of wrong. It was easy, just not for me. It took- why does she have to lie to her friend? Why can't she just be like, listen, I know you love gaming and I feel like this would be a good way to connect me and my sister. And I want you to teach me because you're the only gamer I know. And not only will it help me get closer to my sister, but this is a good way for you and me to spend time together as well. There you go. How hard was that? I came up with that like that. And then you gotta sit there and lie. I already know this is gonna cause problems for later. I visited Mondstadt first as part of the main quest. Then I cleared a thousand wind temples around the city. Completing the main quest gave me a lot of XP. The more I got, the faster I leveled up and the faster I could reach AR-16 and play with other players. That was just one giant ad for Genshin. MSA, you done tricked me. Darman's tricked me, MSA's trick. I keep getting tricked. But it wasn't as simple as I thought it would be. The game has like 1.5 million players daily. I visited many player worlds, and yet I couldn't find her. Finding April was like searching for a needle. You stupid. <laughs> yeah, you really joined? First of all, ain't no one accepting a random info. Oh, anytime someone would try to be like, yo, let me join your world. No. So you can steal my resources? What do you need to come to my world for? Get out of there. I don't think so. In a haystack. One day, Sandra invited me to play a co-op session in her world. There, I saw something amazing. A player with the name Jellybean042007. I knew right away it was April. Sandra, who is this player? Jellybeans? She's a brilliant player. It's like we read each other's minds when we play as a team. This, I feel like this is just... 
It's making Genshin seem like way more than what it actually is. <laughs> All it is, hey, can I, can I go grab some resources from your world? Okay, yeah, just invite me. Okay, I I'll, I I gotta do this domain. You need help with it? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> That's it. Also, how did Sandra meet her sister? That is such a random coincidence. I soon began playing with April, and boy, was she tough. She was a no-nonsense player and cleared domains like she was born to do it. And any player who showed weakness was kicked out, and she was the host of most of the co-op worlds we played. You use Zhang Li? That's, I think that's his name, Zhang Li. You use him? Not, you're not good at the game. I'm a pop shield to you guys. You know, I refuse to level up my Zhongli because you know what? I like to play that game on hard mode. One time we were playing the City of Gold and it looked like we were going to lose, but I saved the day by defeating Winged Cryo Shroom. Well done. I didn't know you had it in you. I'm making you a regular in my co-op. See you next- God, sweet Lord, this is so cringe. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> oh my God, I'm- <laughs> I don't know what it is, but anytime someone's trying to portray like a, a gamer in media, it is like the cringiest thing. It's like everyone has normal conversations. Why is it like, oh yeah, no, good one. Good one, bro. No, you, you totally got that slime. That slime, crazy. It has nothing on you, bro. Squat up, you know? She thought I was some random guy. It was cool that she was opening up to me. Once we returned home, I got back to playing Genshin Impact, and April and I connected even more. She would chat with me throughout the game and told me things about herself that I never knew. The one thing I will admit, gaming does bring people together. I don't know, you just bond over a game. You meet a lot of new people playing games. I met a lot of friends playing video games. This is how it was, especially like when I was younger and like you would play on Xbox. I used to play on Xbox 360 and you would play with people and then you would play with someone really good and you like, hey man, you want to play together? And you'd be like, yeah. And you end up playing together and then you become friends and then you meet their friends, they meet your friends and then you become a part of a group. That's just how it is. I think that's such a cool thing about video games. Ugh, giggles. I didn't do well on one of my projects and I don't know how to tell my parents. I'm sure they'll understand. Just tell them and apologize and promise to do better next time. I hope it works. I'm trusting you. <laughs> we should. I'm trusting you, stranger on the internet. That's never gone wrong before. We'd meet someday. Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe someday. Sandra was happy that I was getting along with Jellybean and getting better at playing the game. Things were going great until one day our co-op team had to play the hidden- Sweet Lord, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just skip all the Genshin nonsense so we can actually hear some of the story. We were about to play the game on Saturday night and before that, I made sure to practice hard. I learned- <laughs> If you if you have to practice for a domain, you probably shouldn't be playing Genshin Impact. <laughs> Let alone if you have to practice for it with an entire group, all right? And they ain't that hard. You can go in there and solo them. It ain't some big deal, okay? If you want if you want something like that, if you want Final Fantasy XIV has stuff like that. They have where it's an eight man or a 24 man, all right? I have a video on my channel, check it out. This is something about Final Fantasy XIV. Just type it in on my channel. They have stuff like that. I love that game. Sandra, April, and I made an amazing team of Hydro, Pyro, and Geo. As we entered the world, first, we had to find the four flame torches, since I was the Pyro in the- Disgusting cleavings. Am I right? Finally, I found the fourth torch northeast of the camp, but the moment I lit it, a pro abyss mage appeared. I thought it was gonna be done for, but thank God, Sandra used her high. A pi she say a pro? A pro abyss? Did she meant to say pyro abyss? <laughs> I, 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 I thought I heard pro abyss mage, but you know. A pro abyss mage. Go off, I guess. OMG, I'm so happy for April. I'm so happy for her too. Wait, what? That's April? Is this why you wanted to learn the game? I thought it was- See, I told you. What did I say? Well, 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 digital's right again. I called it out. It was gonna come back and bite her in the butt. If she would have just been honest from the beginning, her friend wouldn't be so pressed about it. To bond better with me. Looks like I was wrong and just being used. Sandra, come on. After a while of pin drop silence, Sandra finally spoke. I understand, and I'm sorry for how I behaved, but aren't you gonna tell her it's you? She, she got over it very quickly. Agree to meet her and rip the band-aid off. I'll be there with you for the whole thing. It was easier said than done. I needed some time to think about it. And after months, I felt I was ready to finally meet. You needed months to think about it? Haven't you been playing this game for months with her? What do you, you needed even more months to think about it? 
Girl, this was your plan all along. What are you so nervous to meeting your sister for? But what happened when we met shocked me. She's hugging me. Wait, you're not angry? I thought you would. At first, I had doubts. But come on, giggles. But then you said something when we were playing. Confirmed it was you. It was. You said something that was so obviously my sister. And I was like, man, why was I even mad at you to begin with? Oh, that's right. Because you blamed me for our parents' divorce. But then I was like, you seem pretty chill. And I felt bad for you because you're clean main And that's the only character you really have. So I'm not much better since I'm a Zhongli main. But, you know. Whatevs. This was one of the happiest days of my life. I finally had my sister back. Ahem. Ahem. Hi, Jelly Beans. It's me, Shaquille Oatmeal, or you can call me Sandra. That was you? I can't believe it. I'm a huge fan. OMG, I'm your fan. Fan of what? What are you a fan of? Oh my gosh, you hit some buttons on Genshin. Your biggest fan. So, sister, are you ready to play by my side in the new version 3.6 update of Genshin Impact? And that's where we end the video. <laughs> that banner is trash anyway hi right, you guys that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching you guys are absolutely amazing if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button and to turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when i go live or i post a new video and i will see you all in the next one hey guys